Hi everyone, welcome to my class once again. In today's class, we want to look at how we can quickly solve this simultaneous linear and quadratic equation. The question says, solve the equations. And the two equations are, we have x plus y equal to 5. We also have x, y equal to 6. Now, this is simultaneous equation. But in this type of equation, why solving it, it will lead to quadratic equation solution. Solution. Let's start with the equation 1. Equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 5. Let's call this equation 1. Then the second equation is x, y is equal to what? 6. This is equation 2. We want to look for the value of x and y. Now, let's see from our first equation you can use any of the two equations either from equation one or the second equation you may make x the subject of the formula or y the subject of the formula and get your answer so now let's see from this example let's quickly let's see from the equation one x plus y is equal to five then we want to make x the subject of the formula let's see x is equal to now 5 if plus y come to this other side it will be what minus y s is equal to what 5 if this y come to this side it will be what minus because this is positive when the positive cross the equal sign it will become minus now s is equal to what y 5 minus y s is equal to 5 minus y now let's see let's make this equation 3 now we can now substitute for x substitute for x in let's say equation 2 now because we from equation 1 we make s the subject of the formula let's substitute for x in equation 2 now in equation equation 2 that is we have x y is equal to 6 but from equation 3 from our equation 3 we have s is equal to what 5 minus y then anywhere you see x you put 5 minus y there now this is it we have since x here we have x y is equal to 6 therefore and when you see anywhere you see x you just put 5 minus y let's see 5 minus y into this y it be called what sis let's call this our equation four now let's open the bracket five times y we have five y minus y times y y square is equal to what six this is tending to quadratic equation right now. Then let's say minus y square plus 5y is equal to what? 6. Then in order to make it more simpler and easier, you can now multiply through by the word negative or by minus sign. That is multiply this by minus 1. Then we have if minus multiply this minus will become plus we have y square y square 
minus 5y will be equal to minus 6. Then we have y square minus 5y. If this minus come to this side, it will become plus plus 6 equal to what? 0. This is quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Now let's solve our quadratic equation. We are looking for the value of y from this equation. Now we have y square minus 5y plus 6 is equal to what? 0. Now let's look for two values that you can multiply together such that it will give you plus 6 and when you add them together they will, it will give you what? Minus 5. Now from this we have let's say minus 2 multiplied by minus 3. That will be plus 6. Then we have minus 2 plus minus 3. That will be what? Minus 5. We have y square minus 2y minus 3y plus 6 is equal to what? 0. You can see that we factor this. We split it into minus 2, minus 3. It is still, it's still the same minus 5y. Then we have y square minus 2y minus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. y into what? y minus 2 minus 3 into what? y minus 2 is equal to 0. If you express this, you get this value. Then, let's see. We have this and this in bracket. They are the same thing. But this y and this can go together. We have y minus 3 equal to 0 or y minus 2 is equal to what is 0. Therefore, y minus 3 is equal to 0. Y, if this minus 3 cross the other side, will become plus, is equal to 3, or y is equal to what? 2.